slender. That's what his leg moved. Boom. And I was, uh, I was a wreck when we finally land. All right, number five, Michael from Hammond, Indiana. Dear Dennis Miller, hmm, I love your show. My mom got me the DMZ membership as a birthday gift. I was wondering how you obtained all your off-the-wall knowledge. I didn't do anything except, uh, I think, uh, you know, God sometimes gives you some monkey trick. <laughs> Mine is stuff sticks in my head, weird stuff, and I can find it pretty quickly when I need it. But other than that, I, I, I didn't do anything to warrant it. Is there an encyclopedia for stuff you should know when listening to Dennis Miller? If there isn't, there should be. It might be huge, but you'd make a lot of money off it. Well, you know, the, the, the key to the stuff is I really don't rehearse it. It really is triggered synaptically by some, some reference reminds me of something else. And so, therefore, I can't tell you, and I think it sounds precious to even for me to fake like I think there should be a Cliff Notes on it. Although, I remember when I did Monday Night Football, they used to annotate it the next day. And I think we do something akin to that on our website. Yeah, we There's an annotated Dennis Miller, but I don't think it's... Do they do... How many? Is it only one thing a day or something? Yeah, we do one a day. So. Well, I, they used to... The guy on Monday Night Football would break it down like, here's ten things, and he'd... And it was kind of fun. I started trying to throw him off the scent after a while, like Hitchcock with the MacGuffins. I tried to give him false leads, but the kid was pretty sharp. But all I can tell you is it's... Uh, it's not feigned. I don't sit there and think these things out beforehand. And indeed, if you really boil them down, it's like, you know, Jetson's robot-made references. So it doesn't exactly run that deep. But like I said, whatever it is, I'm thankful God gave it to me because uh, it's my one monkey trick that's made me different than other comics. Is, uh, you know, when I used to write jokes, I often said at the beginning of my career and I'd get stuck, I would think, what pisses me off? The words, what am I? Where the fulcrum? And then arcane reference. That was all I'd do when I got stuck. I'd go, okay, that guy who cut me off on the 101. What am I? Shirley Cha Cha Muldowney? You know what I mean? Their drag racer? That was how I buttered my bread at the beginning. Now, eventually I put layering into it, but that was the caveman approach to it I had back then. And to this day, uh, you know, I'm doing the radio. I don't, I don't sit there and figure it out. You just start talking, and the adrenaline and the fear of filling three hours. And the joy of doing it with Sal, who I dig, and good callers. And uh, it's fun. You just have to leave yourself open to it. What kills it is if you don't think it's coming, uh, the references. If you, if you think they're not coming, it's dead. you just got to trust that they'll come. And they're quirky enough that you can make a living off it. So, uh, no, there's nothing you should study. It doesn't run that deep. Indeed, uh, half the fun is uh, if you don't get a couple and then you get one, you like that you get one. But my, my key as a comedian is when I get to a point where nobody gets it, <laughs> I might keep some in for me, but not too often, because that's narcissistic. I'll throw it out if nobody else is getting it. But maybe one or two I keep just for my sanity. But uh, no, no reference book on that, nor should there be, because it's like I said, it doesn't run that deep. All right, Enjoy nice these samples of the bathroom sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.